We're hitting the trail close to home today on At Your Leisure. I'm Jill Kinder. And I'm Darren Kinder, and we found a trail that leads us to some of the most spectacular views in all of Utah. From there, Stephen Human will take you to one of the fastest open riding areas in the West. After that, we'll be adding some more parts to our hillside tire 4x4 buildup. And finally, Reese Stein is going to show you the art of pelican catching. It's all for science. So climb in your 4x4 at your leisure's next. Well, welcome to At Your Leisure. We are here in Bountiful, Utah, just above the city, just a few miles outside of Salt Lake. And we've got our brand new hillside 4x4. And we're gonna take this thing out and just make sure all the bolts are tight and everything's kind of functioning before we get it onto some real hardcore trails. Well, hi, I'm Darren Kinder. And I'm Jill Kinder. And hopefully we won't scratch the Jeep because I think Darren might cry. It's our mall <laughs> crawler, not really a 4x4. And uh, you know, if you've been watching the show, you've seen us put the lift on it, the new wheels and tires. Well, now we're about ready to do some other things to it. So stay tuned to see all the cool features we're gonna be adding. We are gonna take a little adventure today. If you've been up this way and you've driven on the highway and seen the bee on the hillside, it's right behind us. Come up and enjoy. There's a lot of adventure up here and we're gonna find out what we, what's in store. Yep, and there's trails for whether if you're running a uh, four by four like us, or there's ATVs or UTVs. There's all kinds of different little trails that kick off of this road. So you can really kind of find some things. We brought our daughter today and some friends. And so we're gonna go out and check it out. We're just up above Bountiful and, you know, not too far off the Wasatch Front. It was real easy to, you know, grab the wife and kid and, you know, take a couple hours off work and head on up here. And beautiful day, it's 80 degrees in October. I almost brought a jacket for him, but I was like, it's like very warm. So yeah, it's beautiful. Really, it's, you know, it's just a, a county road that switchbacks right up, up the canyon, up on top of the mountain. You have views looking back over uh, Bountiful and out onto the Great Salt Lake and Antelope Island. It really is incredible where we live, how easy it is, you know, to drive, oh, or maybe a half hour from home, and traffic was the part that uh, took a little bit longer, but to, to not drive very far and, and just get away from it, get out of the office. I used to go out with my parents. We'd go out in the mountains and look for deer or would go four-wheeling and whatnot, so I'm excited to do that with this our little guy here. So oh, are you getting dirty? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's fun though. I, I think he'll be more fun as he gets older. But I, I think for the next couple of years this is the kind of four wheeling we'll do and as he gets older hopefully uh, we'll evolve with the sport. Having Landon here definitely changes the whole aspect. I mean you have another one to take care of but you also have memories that you're going to have for a lifetime. Even though he won't remember them, I mean, I'll always remember them, and it's just gonna get better as time goes on. And that's why you come out in a four-wheel drive. And we're gonna experience a little more of the trail while you go to a travel adventure. Steve Humans out in the West Desert. Look around me. Little more than sand, desert, and arid land. This is the combination of the perfect riding area, though. And that's exactly where I am. I'm Stephen Human for At Your Leisure, and I'm here at the Knowles Recreation Area, one of the greatest open riding areas in all the West. Interstate 80 is a long road, stretching from New York to San Francisco. But many would say there is no longer stretch along its almost 2,900 miles than the desert between Salt Lake City, Utah, and Wendover, Nevada. Out here, the pale world goes on forever, and it's easy to lose track of time and distance. There is one off-ramp in this area that offers a break in the form of sand dunes, mountain climbs, and an open atmosphere that has become all too rare, the Knolls. The Knolls is a great place to ride. It's about 40 miles east of Wendover, right off of I-80. Lots of sand, lots of places to camp, 
It's a great place to go. The nice thing about riding the Knolls is you get a little bit of everything. I mean, there's no one big pile of sand, but there's no, it's just a little bit of everything. So you can try sand, you can try trail, you can, there's some rocks out there, kind of do a little bit of everything. When I was a kid, I remember going out with my dad to uh, places to ride motorcycles and ATVs uh, way closer to home, like in this valley. And as time has progressed over the last 30 years, these little areas of riding have diminished to the point where there is really nowhere f to ride. They're not as big, open, filled areas as there used to be. And the Knolls is kind of one of those places that is not too far away that you can go ride close to home and not feel like you have to drive three hours to get to. Sand dunes butt against mountains of stone, allowing for speed on the open flats, and then a challenge as the rocks force you to change your mindset in the blink of an eye. The train opens up different opportunities for different machines as well. So no matter what ride you prefer, you'll be able to experience everything it has to offer out here in the bowls and rolling hills. When playing in the outdoors, we often notice the contrast between the colors displayed in the natural world. A quick glance at the knolls and you'd think a less colorful place would be impossible to find. That may be true on the surface, but out here there's a different kind of magnificence, contrasts between land and sky that accentuate the wonder of both. Beauty's in the eye of the beholder. I mean, if you love forest and that's it, then you're only gonna find beauty there. I mean, the desert is beautiful in its own right. Sometimes when you're out there and you think about what you're seeing is how did this get created or what made it like this, you know? I mean, one of the prettiest things in the world is a cactus with a flower on it in the early spring because it just shouldn't be there. And obviously this time of year, that beauty is accentuated with cooler temperatures, making this a very comfortable place to come in the fall, winter, and spring. Now, for most of us, the aesthetics are secondary when it comes to a place like the Knolls. We're here for the open thrill of riding our machines without limits or boundaries, the fun of skipping the trail and plotting our own course. While many such areas have closed in the last 20 years, the Knolls is still accessible and ready to be explored. The interesting thing, though, is that even in a place like this, where you'd think the solitary rider would be king, it's the relationships between friends and brothers that is the real draw. I like to ride ATVs. It's a great time to hang out with your family and friends and create really good memories. I think riding with my brother makes us closer, you know, helps us trust each other more and, you know, bond. It is fun to also use your ATV to go out and see a broader scope of what's around. Even out here, there's plenty to discover as you look out from the top of any number of peaks. Camping areas abound at the Knolls, offering the chance for families to come out and explore together. Or if you want more comforts, Tooele is just to the east and offers plenty of hotels with Wendover about the same distance to the west. I-80 may pass through some barren lands, but sometimes you'll be surprised what you'll find when you take a desert exit while towing your ATV. It's close to Salt Lake, you know, a lot closer than the Little Sahara and less people usually. It's a great place, you should come out and ride. Now Knowles is located a little bit more than an hour from Salt Lake and about 40 miles east of Wendover on Interstate 80. It's got its own exit, it's great to come out here, but remember there's no water. There are some bathrooms, places to camp, but you're going to need to bring your own water. If you've got that, you've got one of these machines, that is the combination for the perfect day. Well, I'm Stephen Hewitt for At Your Leisure. We need to take a commercial break. When we come back, we have this week's product review. Hey, folks, RJ Bailey for Stedman's Recreation. You know when it comes to your next purchase on an ATV or road bike, you don't have to have the blues. Come on out to Stedman's where they treat you like family. You'll get the best prices, the best service, and you'll have a friend for life where they got a full lineup of Polaris, Yamaha, and Honda. When you come out to Stedman's, you're not dealing with just salesmen, you're dealing with family. And when you come out here, they'll make you feel like family. Stedman's Recreation. People might tell you it's 300 miles out here, but remember, it's really only 30 miles back.
Back in 1946, the business started as a used car operation. We took on the RV business and we've enjoyed the trailer business so much. Our goal is to make as many people happy as possible. I enjoy when they come in and they let me know they're happy. And if they're not happy, I want to make them happy. I'm excited about it. I think we have a lot of inventory out there to show people. We got some great employees. I want to sell them on what we're here for and it's all about service. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We're going to find out what goes inside of this on our new AYL 4x4. And if you remember, we just got done putting the new lift and wheels and tires on the Jeep, and it looks awesome. But now the gearing's off a little bit, so we're going to change up the gearing, and while we're in there, we're going to do a few other things. I'm Darren Kinder, and I've got Chad Erickson here with Hillside Tire, and I brought the Jeep down to get the oil changed, and then all of a sudden, there's nothing left in it anymore. Not, not, that's not actually true. What's the first thing we're going to do, like the gearing? What's going on there? Well, we're going from a smaller ring gear assembly to something that's a lot taller. When you go with the taller ring gear, it's going to basically give you a lower gear ratio. It's going to put less load on the transmission and on the, the tr uh, motor to get the tires rolling. Anytime you start changing gear ratios, tire sizes, so on and so forth, everything is monitored by a computer. Um, this particular vehicle we are going to do, it's by American Expedition Vehicles. Uh, it is their, their ProCal module. What it's going to do is it's going to adjust the factory PCM to accept the larger tires and the gear ratio change. So we can drive this vehicle out on the street and it's going to handle like a brand new vehicle. And then the other thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be putting new ARB lockers on it. So when you talk about a locker, what, what is a locker? So a locker basically um, locks up the differential to the point where both tires spin equally. When you're going off-road, you want both tires to spin at an equal rate of speed. That way you're getting better traction. If one tire drops down into a hole, anything of that nature, the opposing tire still gets traction. Kind of explain to me what we have here. Uh, so what we've got is we've got a factory open carrier here. You'll notice inside of here you have uh, spider, they're called spider gears. What these do is these turn at different rates of speed when you're going into corners and it allows one tire to move at a quicker rate of speed. When we go over to an ARB assembly, this locks internally using supply to air. And what happens is there's a small collar that goes on here. And when you apply air pressure, it shifts that collar over and it locks up this solid. Okay. It becomes one solid unit. When you do that, what you're doing is you're allowing both tires to turn at an equal rate of speed. We also brought in, a, a, as an example, this is called a lunchbox locker. It's built by Powertrax. It's the Lockrite unit. This will actually go inside of a factory case assembly and replace these gears here. When you are under load, it locks itself solid, similar to this, but it, it's not selectable. It is a full-time style locker. And there is a slight price difference. It, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're, we're going with something that's a little bit more of a premium. Um, you know, you start talking dollar figures, you're up around that thousand dollar mark per, per unit. Uh, you start looking at a lunchbox style locker, you're down around that two to three hundred dollars per okay. unit. Going with an ARB locker, it's a selectable option, so you have the ability to disengage it at any given time. Um, it's better on a dual purpose vehicle, something that you're driving to and from work every single day and hitting the trails on the weekend. Is there anything else that we need to be thinking about while we're doing this? Later on down the road, it, there is a possibility that we may put excessive pressure on other components, uh, such as axle shafts and U-joints. Um, there is a large market in aftermarket products for axles and drivetrain components. Well, we'd really like to thank Chad at Hillside Tire for setting us up in our new 4x4. We've kind of taken it out on its initial test drive, and we haven't really put it through all of its paces yet, but we've been having a great time anyway. But stay tuned, because we're going to have more information about how you can get into the 4x4 lifestyle. Experience freedom and the lifestyle of rural America like never before in Cedar City, October 23rd with the Western Freedom Festival. Join us for an event that celebrates family values, public lands, good music, and the rights that have given us the opportunity to set our sights on the horizon. The crown jewel of the conference will be a live concert performed by country music star Daryl Worley. Freedom education and discussion sessions will allow participants to learn about and comment on the role of government, environmental policy, and the Constitution. Get more information and event tickets at westernfreedomfest.com. Razor, Ranger, Sportsman, Ace. There's a Polaris to match your passion. 
Whether you ride mud, rocks, dunes, or trails, Razor leads the way. With unequaled power, unrivaled suspension, unmatched agility, and unbeatable comfort. Perfectly combined to chase what matters. Lifelong memories with friends and family. The farmer awakes as night releases its grip on darkness. This will always be home. As farmers, we understand that there is beauty in this solitude, and we also know that there is power in working together. The Utah Farm Bureau has always been there to fight for the needs of its members. To this day, Farm Bureau is still providing insurance to Utah's hardworking farm families, as well as your family. Utah Farm Bureau members also enjoy other benefits of membership, with discount programs on items ranging from vehicles and ATVs to health and wellness. The membership fees aren't big, but the results are. We've been around since 1916, and we're not leaving anytime soon. Utah Farm Bureau. We work for those who work to feed the world. Well, welcome back to At Your Leisure. One of the things I really enjoy about going out and going 4 by 4 in is that you have your whole family in here and it's a little hard to look at a cell phone or a tablet when you're getting jostled around inside of here. So they pretty much have to look outside and enjoy the day and you can have polite conversations with one another. You know, one of the greatest things about living in the mountains is that, you know, is to be able to come out and enjoy them. You know, I grew up out in the country in a really small little town, and, uh, and I've always worried about having my daughter kind of growing up in the city and not relating to the things that I, that I grew up with. And so one of the things I really like to do is bring her out here and take her Jeep and her take her four-wheeling because that way she, she starts getting in tune to what wilderness really is. It's not protect it from everything and keep everybody away from it. It's go out and enjoy it and, and yeah, you don't want to tear anything up, but you, you still want to go out and be, be part of it. We spend more time with each other because we're trapped in a car. My dad locks the doors, so technically we're trapped in a car. She's a city girl, which makes breaks my heart, but every once in a while I see a little bit of country girl come out in her and see a little spark of interest of something that she sees or an animal that she sees or something that she spots that I, I didn't catch yet. Yeah, there's an old car crash down there. They looked like five cars had tumbled down the hill. I can imagine that would have been quite a ride. <laughs> well, if you're just getting into four-wheeling, you know, you want to make sure that you have, you know, everything so, you know, if things start going wrong, you have a way to get out. You know, you need like a tow strap, you need a fire extinguisher. You know, you want to bring plenty of water, not only for you to drink, but if your vehicle happens to overheat, you want to be able to put water in it. So things like that and a first aid kit, obviously, is so important to have. You know, we're all dialed into the electronic things now, but you get out here, your phone doesn't work anymore and your electronics don't work anymore. So, hey, maybe bring a good old fashioned compass with you. We've had all different types of four wheel drive and I think you just kind of start with one that's reliable and will start and run. <laughs> and then you kind of adjust along the way to what you need. Well, if you're interested in getting into a four by four or figuring out what, what we're up to, you can go to our website and there's lots of clubs on there that you can check out. Now, different 4x4 associations are on there so you can, can hook up with them. You know, how we kind of got going on it was because we go to the different events. You know, we go to Rally on the Rocks or there's Hump and Bump down in Vegas. The nice thing is there are guides and so if, they, if, if you get into some tough spots, they'll get out and they'll tell you which way to go, how to turn your wheels. And so it's a really good starting point. But this is just an awesome way to get out, get away from the city a little bit, be with family and friends, have a great time. And abuse your daughter. <laughs> she, feels ab she feels abused. All right now we've got to get to the trailhead with Reese Stein catching pelicans. What? <laughs> I'm Reese Stein at your leisure on the Great Salt Lake. And what do you know about pelicans other than its bill can hold more than its belican? Well, these wildlife scientists hope to find out a lot more than just that. 
They already know that the American white pelican is one of the largest birds in North America, maybe the heaviest flying bird, that thousands of them breed on the Great Salt Lake, and they can eat lots of fish. But they want to learn more, so... So today we're out trapping pelicans. After all, a bird in the hand is the best way to learn about them. So biologist Adam Brewerton and his crew set leg hole traps around the shoreline of an island that, judging from the amount of guano on my shoes, the birds really like. Now these aren't sharp-toothed bear traps. They're specially designed as to not injure the pelicans. And then this is a number three soft catch, but we've retrofitted them at one and a half springs. So the springs are much less powerful than what it would come with from the factory. And so even though it closes on the pelican's legs, it's not going to hurt them. Yeah. Have you done this before with pelicans? Yeah, we've uh, been doing this about the last year or so. Uh -huh. with pelicans, mostly up with strawberry, but we uh, have been doing some trapping here uh, last week or so. The traps are spaced about six feet apart and hidden in the shallow mud. They're anchored to steel stakes. These are also retrofitted with a high-tech bungee cord. Good, yeah. yeah. Instead of a, a chain. So as a bird tries to fly away with the trap on its leg, it bounces, has a little bit of give. The bird's breakfast over, the pelicans are driven off their feeding grounds by a boat and into the marsh surrounding the trapped island. They flock in by the hundreds, along with ducks, teal, and shorebirds. The Bear River Refuge hosts millions of birds, but it's the pelicans we're after. We're trapping pelicans as part of kind of our overall monitoring project, uh, keeping track of the population that breeds out on Gunnison Island. So what'll happen is we've got around 10,000 birds or so that'll be nesting out on the island any given year, but we'll have anywhere from 20 to 80,000 birds hanging around the lake. After an hour or so, a pelican stumbles into one of the traps. The bird remains surprisingly calm as Adam picks him up, then restrains his giant nine-foot wingspan with a plastic sack for the ride back to shore. And with pelican numbers being kind of on the decrease in the past, they're coming back up now. Yeah. As, they're, as they're coming back up, they're causing problems with various fisheries. Oh, uh-huh. Um, there's concern at the airport with airstrikes. Right. Population sizes get bigger. The big bird first gets some bling, an identification leg band. Next, the latest in high-tech tracking gear. Well, we've got GPS satellite transmitters. They're little backpack mounted transmitters that are solar powered and they store GPS locations on board and then once or well, twice a day they actually beam that information back up mm. through the satellite system and then we can download that information. What's that transmitter weigh? Weighs 70 grams. Won't bother him at all? Nah, he'll, he'll notice it's there. Yeah. And when we first release him he'll kind of be shrugging his shoulders, shaking around, trying to just figure out what's what's new, what's on him. He'll quickly accept his load and go on with pelican business. Adam hopes to wire up at least two more birds. The GPS will send back the pelican's exact location 12 times each day to reveal a map of the bird's travels. So we're trying to build a, a sense of when and where the birds are at kind of any given moment. And yeah. pelicans are our largest flying bird. So 20 pounds of bird, especially in a flock of 300 can do a lot of damage to an airplane. Now I've done stories on most critters in Utah, but this is the first time I've ever petted a pelican. Very soft. The GPS Secure Wildlife Tech Jesse Bunkley gets the honor of turning it loose. What'd you think of that? It was awesome. <laughs> ever let a pelican go before? First Never. time, hopefully not the last. Yeah. Restein at your leisure at the Bear River Bird Refuge near Brigham City. Our trailhead segment today is sponsored by Rocky Mountain ATV MC. That's that great place where you can order all kinds of accessories for your ATV or your motorcycles, and they'll ship it right to your door. Just go to the RockyMountainATVMC.com website, and you can take a look at it there. 
Experience the power of the Maverick Turbo during Can-Am's Yellow Tag event. Choose from the most complete family of turbo side-by-sides on the market, starting at $20,399, including the industry's only four-seater turbo. Rush to your local dealer for up to $2,500 off on these adrenaline-pumping rides. Get turbocharged during the Yellow Tag event. Can-Am, the ride says it all. A mountainside trail, a day of speed that pushes your limits, a desert oasis that opens your horizons, a land of horsepower for every taste. Tooele County is all of them in one. It's time to experience a new adventure you never knew you were missing. It's time to find out what's just over the mountain. Tooele County, Utah. The Wasatch Front is your home. Tooele is your backyard. The Wildcat, more fun than the usual midlife crisis. The 2015 Wildcat, Wildcat Trail, and introducing the Wildcat Sport. Nothing's as wild. Welcome back to At Your Leisure. We are here above the bee in Bountiful on the Skyline Drive. And if you like, you know, getting out here and enjoying things like this, sometimes you got to get a little involved because there's a lot of stuff going on about our public lands and how we access them and how we can use them. And so there's, a, there's an event coming up next weekend down in Cedar. It's called the Western Freedom Festival. It's on Friday. And if you want to get some more information about how we use our public lands and, and the access and all of those kind of things and get kind of educated on what's going on, this is a great place to go. There's also going to be a country western concert with Daryl Worley, um, and so that'll be kind of fun as well. So you can come down, get some information, get some entertainment, and I guarantee they'll have some good food there as well. Also that weekend, there'll be the Livestock and Heritage Festival, and that's in Cedar City as well. That's where the sheep come down the main street of town, so it could be exciting. Yeah. Maybe not quite like the running of the bulls. But. Yeah. <laughs> So they'll also have live music during that, as well as vendors and horse poles and all kinds of fun yeah, things to do. It's just a, very, a regular carnival atmosphere, a fun place right downtown in Cedar City. So if you'd like to check out any of these festivals, go to our Facebook page. we got links on there for that. And while you're there, make sure you like us. Definitely. But right now we're going to take a look at next week's show. AYL is traveling to one of the most iconic Western destinations next week as we explore Lake Tahoe and the adventures that lie on its doorstep. Why are the Sierra Nevada mountains and the Reno area a crown jewel for explorers? We'll give you a few good reasons. From there, Darren Kinder takes out the two fastest machines on the market and puts them head to head in a battle royale to see which one comes out on top. Next week's show looks great. Yep, and if you want to come up here to the Skyline Trail, it's pretty easy to get to. Just get off any exit pretty much in Bountiful and uh, just kind of work your way up through the neighborhoods and just come up towards the bee and you'll, the road will eventually turn into this. It's, so that's not too hard. We're just a little bit north of the uh, Bountiful Temple. So if you see the signs to that, kind of follow it up, but then you got to go a little bit further to the north. Yep, make sure you go north because it does have a ravine there that you can't get through. Yeah. Well, unless you got four wheel drive. <laughs> yes, so anyway, we're done for today, unfortunately. So just remember, Get out and experience your own adventure. At, At your, your leisure. leisure. They're also going to have a country western star, uh, David Worley, going to be down there. Daryl. What? A country western star, David Worley. Daryl. Daryl. <laughs> There'll also be a country concert with. Uh... <laughs> I said, Uncle. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chad Booth from At Your Leisure. I hope you just enjoyed the YouTube video that you just watched. Now, Remember, we come up with new videos like this every single week, so you might want to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a single story that we have out. Now, you can also share us with all of your friends on social media. Here's how to do it right here, and that way they can have fun too. If you want detailed information, we of course have our website, AYLTV.com, and from there you can find out which television stations we broadcast on so you never have to spend a day without your fix of family-oriented outdoor recreation adventure. Plus, don't forget we have really cool contests.